What's up everyone, Vando here with another video of mine. And today is part two of the Lux Flight Controller build on our QAVR. And someone behind me is a special guest, Colin Chu. <laughs> and he um, is a special guest because he introduced me into this special <laughs> hobby. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> And we'll have a special video for him showing his face and his YouTube channel that he's going to start. So let's get into the build. So we have our looks like controller. We, um, we, what do you call it? We soldered all the pins together. And we have this manual. Make sure you read the manual. It just says some, how to set it up and all the things. So over here is the five volt, five pin. So what we did was we soldered the five, the middle pad to the five, we bridged it. So produced five volts for a receiver. And then we did um, the middle pad to SRX or seal, serial X. Um, and that will go for our S bus. And make sure a quick, a quick note is that um, you don't disturb the Lux flight controller um, when you're powering on because uh, accelerometer and gyroscopes need to initialize and when you're um when you first plug it in make sure you hold that um bootloader bootloader um button right here the right the white button i don't it doesn't right here see the boot it says boot and you want to um hold that and then um, let go of it and then that will basically reset all the settings for your um, for your Lux Fly controller. So let's plug it in. I'll plug it in. Okay. I got you. Alright, he's gonna Making sure in. to put it in. in. So make sure you, you let all the lights settle so it's nice and settled. And then we have over here our setup so you can see that it's it moves make sure you you're on a flat surface and you calibrate the accelerometer I already calibrated it but you, what you want to do is press that accelerometer button on a flat surface and make sure you don't move the quad and then we have our ports here and I use my v my USB one and then your one will be selected to serial or X enabling S bus and then here is the configuration tab so make sure you're in quad X and I am gonna run one shot because I'm using the new BL Heli uh what do you call it software and then you can if you want to do motor stop you can do that but I'm not because I want it to be spinning so uh, and the reason why is it's easier to do flips because you don't have to do a certain amount of throttle when you're doing a flip. And here I selected RX serial and that will enable S bus so I'm connecting S bus to that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the configuration. No fail safe. Um, so this is just PID tuning. You can um, uh, do that stuff later. For now, I'm just going to go with the stock settings. And then this is the receiver tab. So when you're doing this, make sure you select JR Spectrum or Gropner. That basically means, well, it stands for T-A-E-R, which means throttle, aileron, um, elevator, and then rudder. So make sure you do that. And that, if you're gonna use that, then use the um, multi-rotor tab. I'll show you guys later on my Tyrannus. Make sure you do that. And then for my arm, I have it on auxiliary two. And then we're going, later on, we're gonna be using the motors. So I'm going to get my um, Tyrannus and show you guys my settings. And then we're also gonna calibrate the ESCs and plug in the battery. So yeah. I'll see you guys later. All right, so we have our Taranis, and I'm just gonna show you some of my settings. If you go in menu, um, when you're binding it, make sure, or the way to bind it is when you're plugging it in, hold the bind button right here. But what you wanna be is, um, you wanna be on mode um, D16, 
channels one to eight and then you want to use um, when you're binding it just click that bind button see that bind button right there so D616 and then the channel range will be channel 8 to 1 and then go to inputs make sure everything's right throttle error on elevator tire like what we did in clean flight and then this I programmed my I programmed this switch for my acro mode so this will um, this will actually um, arm my quad as well as yeah it will arm the quad and then the the default mode is would be acro mode so that's good let's see if there's anything else yeah so there's nothing else so now we're going to you can just see my quad we are going to be plugging it in to calibrate the ESCs so let's plug it in like so so it's bound and then we're in clean flight right now and you want to go to see modes you can see um, using your Tyrannus um, you need to first plug it in you can plug it in if you want for the motors and then you can see they move make sure all of the motors are spinning like so and then you can go to motors to calibrate the ESCs so what you want to do is unplug it so and also you want to turn off the transmitter because you're not going to use it yeah and then you want to so I understand all the risks when the propellers are moved and then you want to use your master control and put it all the way up plug it in and then put it down that's glitching alright and then it's calibrated so now you can turn on your transmitter welcome to open tx and now it's bound and then now oh, first. now you want to um you have to unplug it you have to like reset it everything oh okay yeah listen to the smart guy you have to unplug it first and then turn it back on And now they spin. And then you can go into clean flight and make sure that they're spinning in the same at the right times. So you like bring it up. Like, so that like, you're banking right. Then four and three should be yeah. in the beam. So that's right. So that's right. So yeah. That's and your that's minimum fine. throttle. Um we can test it later on, but um when you're doing this, um, if if when I mean, you spin the motors and it's hopping, you can decrease the or in the configuration you can just decrease the minimum throttle. I'm just gonna um, minimum throttle. I'm just gonna do stop just see how it is. But um, if it is like already in the air when you um, power it on, just spinning the motors when you flip the switch, then um, make sure just decrease it if it's hopping so yeah um this is part two of the lux flight controller um so now make sure to subscribe because in the next video we will be doing the fpv system so we're gonna do the fpv system connecting the camera and the video transmitter so yeah i'll see you guys later Peace. Uh -huh. That's a cut.